Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I wanted to share a tip that will really transform your relationship and bring your partner closer than ever. This works great in long-term relationships, or even if you're just dating, or if you're single and meeting new men, this should really be helpful for you no matter where you're at in your love life. But before I get started, if this is your first time to my channel, click the button to subscribe to get all of my videos on how to have the relationship you want. So let's get started. This is really something that's kind of counterintuitive. It's sort of the opposite of what we all feel compelled to do sometimes when things aren't going so well in our relationship. Or if, you know, the men that are showing up in our life, if you're single, aren't the kind of men that you really want to be attracting. So like I mentioned, this should really be helpful for you no matter where you're at in dating and relationships. And what I wanted to share today is the importance of focusing on the positive aspects in your partner or in all men, if you're single, in all the men you're meeting and attracting. And it's so important, it's kind of counterintuitive. We can often feel almost inspired by our negative feelings like anger or jealousy or feelings of lack in some area, especially when it comes to relationships. And let me give you some examples here because this is a really big concept. So let's say your partner has, you know, 10 dominant personality traits or characteristics. Obviously, there's going to be more than 10 aspects to any human being. But for the, for the sake of this example, we'll go with 10. And we'll say nine of those personality characteristics or nine of those traits you really like. But there's one thing that's not going so well in your relationship or there's one Thing about your partner that maybe you're not so fond of that you wish he would work on or change and as humans we kind of have this tendency to want to like focus on what's not going right we want to like take it all apart put it all back together that's what we tend to talk about when we're talking to our girlfriends or family members that one thing that's not going the way we want it to in our love life and I've really found that your attention to something makes it bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you're just focusing on that one aspect of your relationship that you wish would improve, and you're kind of ignoring the positive aspects, you're ignoring those nine other qualities in your man that you actually love, the problem tends to get bigger and bigger. If you've ever heard that phrase that there is no getting to the bottom of negative emotion because there is no bottom. The more you talk about it and analyze it and kind of like, wrestle it to the ground and kill it, <laughs> take it all apart, put it back together, both with your partner and with other people in your life, the bigger it tends to become. Now, of course, I'm not saying that you should just kind of turn a blind eye if a man is like cheating or lying or displaying some kind of behavior that's like really unacceptable. Obviously, you don't want to be with a man who has some major red flag like that. I talk so much about that in some of my other videos. But you know, in a normal, healthy relationship dynamic, I really encourage you to focus on those positive qualities. Take your attention off of the problem right now, whatever it is. Try it just for like a week or two. And just, you know, set it aside for right now. Focus on the positive qualities in your relationship or with the men you're attracting if you're single and dating. And you'll see that man really transform right before your eyes. It's so amazing how it works. Or if you're single, better men will start showing up for you. You know, it's it's almost like you, uh, when you're focusing on the problem or what you wish would change, you're holding yourself apart from those things you want to actually experience in your love life. If you're looking at it from like a law of attraction perspective, what's wrong or what you don't like is like active in your vibration or in your energy, so to speak, when you're so focused on it and constantly talking about it to everyone in your life or with your partner, especially, that's what's active within you. So that's what you're going to see more and more of in your experience. So for the next week or two, try just focusing on those aspects of your relationship or of your man that you would like to experience more and more of. Focus on the fact that he is uh, really loving and hardworking and he cares about your feelings, all of, you know, whatever it is that you love about him. And think about it the other way around. You know, who do you feel compelled to be around and come closer? What kind of person inspires you to be your best self? 
the kind of person who's focused on your flaws and what you wish would change, or the kind of person that gives you the benefit of the doubt, focuses on your positive qualities, uh, acknowledges you for um, you know, working on yourself, or acknowledges you for the qualities that they like in you. Very obvious, right? You feel, you tend to feel drawn to people who appreciate you and, uh, you know, make you feel good about yourself, not so focused on something that, you know, they wish you would change about yourself. Just as an example, to kind of put yourself in your partner's shoes for a minute. So if you're just to try this, um, let me know in the comment section how this goes for you. I truly believe that even one day's focus, if you do this correctly, can transform your whole relationship, or it can actually change the kind of men you're attracting. If the men you're attracting, let's say the men you're attracting are like, you know, 75% of what you want. This is certainly what I experienced in my past, so I'm familiar with this dynamic. The men I would, tra would attract were like, you know, 75, 80% of what I was looking for. But I was so focused on that 20 to 25% that was missing that I would just keep attracting these men that were like 75%. Like, you know, he's, he's great, but there's just a few things that I don't really like, or there's just a couple things I would change, and they just weren't quite right. I had this belief that there was always something wrong with these guys. You know, maybe I was attracted to them, but they didn't have a stable job, or they weren't in a good living situation, or there was just always something. I was focused on the 25% that I didn't like, rather than the 75% that was actually really great. So this can get you closer and closer to what you want if you're single. And I'd love to talk some more about this. This is a really important concept. So try that for the next you know, week or two. Focus on those positive aspects, either in the men you're attracting if you're single or in your man if you're in a relationship, and watch how things will just kind of shift in all kinds of amazing new ways. You wanna just really allow yourself to be surprised in your love life. See what shows up either in your man or in all men everywhere if you're single. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I always love hearing from you. And if you're ready to attract the man you want and really inspire him to be the kind of partner that you want him to be and, you know, inspire his love and devotion and commitment, check out my three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training. It's free on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. I'll post a link to that in the description right below this video. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.